Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV. We are going to experience and learn together. We are going to have our biology form 1, lesson 15, whereby our tutor will be Mr. Gerard. We are going to uh, tackle the topic on cell physiology under the subtopic uh, factors affecting osmosis. On our previous lesson, if you did not uh, look at it, we looked at osmosis in depth, and now we are going to have factors affecting osmosis. On uh, Just to do a recap, we said that osmosis is the movement of water molecules from a region of uh, their high concentration to a region of uh, their low concentration. Uh, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to give fact five factors affecting uh, osmosis. So now we are going to look at the roles of osmosis in living organisms. And uh, as I have said, if you are able to define osmosis, you must also be able to give its roles to um, living organisms. And um, remember that li these living organisms, they include both plants and animals. One of the roles of osmosis is that um, it is used in absorption of water from the, from the soil. So root air cells of plants absorb water from the soil by osmosis. Osmosis, it also facilitates for water distribution from cell to cell in the body. We have our second uh, role of osmosis that is in support. Um, water taken into cells increases cell turgidity or uh, taga, hence cells become firm or rigid and therefore gain support. This type of support is important in seedlings, leaves and herbaceous plants which are less woody. Uh, the, 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 the plants which are less woody, are, for example the passion fruit, is the one that is, uh, it uses, it is survived by the means of uh, osmosis because it is not able to support, uh, to, uh, to, to support, to have support on its own. So it has to depend on other plants for its support. It uses um, uh, the mechanism of uh, osmosis for it to gain support from the other uh, plants. We have our third role of uh, osmosis, which it, is, it facilitates the opening and closing of stomata. <coughs> The gut cells, they synthesize glucose through the process of photosynthesis in the presence of light energy. As glucose accumulates in the gut cells, the osmotic pressure increases and this enables them to draw water from adjacent cells by osmosis. This action results in the gut cells becoming turgid, causing the opening of the stomata. The opening of the stomata allows gaseous actions to take place. And as you are aware that uh, at night, the gas cells cannot photosynthesize, and therefore, their glucose levels goes down, leading to a decrease in osmotic pressure. The gas cells, therefore, they lose turgidity and hence the stomata closes. That is, we are trying to explain about the opening and closing of stomata, what uh, facilitates it. Uh, those are the five roles of uh, osmosis in living organisms. There are sev several uh, biological terms which are used in this uh, topic of uh, cell uh, physiology. As you uh, can see from our screen, we are having, uh, we, are having uh, I we have isotonic solution, hypertonic solution, we have hypotonic solution, we have plasmolysis, and we also have crenation. I am going to explain um, um, such that you'll be able to understand what we mean by all these terms. But in simpler terms, we can say isotonic solution. This is whereby uh, the solute and the solvent concentrations are, are the same. And hypertonic solution, in simple terms, you can say is a concentrated solution. Hypotonic solution, this is a dilute solution. And the plasmolysis, uh, we can see the sh shrinking of, of a plant cell, where else the crenation is bursting of an animal cell. So we have uh, these uh, we are these uh, these ones they uh, take place due to relations with water in our bodies. So the membrane of animal cells is semi-permeable, just like the fisking tubing as we observed in our uh, observed in our previous lesson. The cytoplasm contains dissolved salts and sugars in solution form. If an animal cell, for example, a red blood cell is placed in distilled water or hypotonic solution. That's why uh, we, uh, we are saying that is isotonic solution, uh, we can, uh, here, here we are going to use an example of a distilled water. There will be a net flow of water in the cell by osmosis. The cell would swell up and eventually burst. 
So the bursting of the red blood cell is what we are referring to as hemolysis. Um, if a similar red blood cell is placed in an hypertonic solution, then water would be drawn out of the cell by osmosis. The cell would shrink a process, a process called crenation. And I, I guess, uh, we are, as you can see from the screen, uh, this is crenation because um, the, uh, when a cell is placed in a highly concentrated solution, it, it shrinks because it will absorb water. Uh, hmm. This behavior of red blood cells placed in various concentrations of solution indicates that body fluids and the blood plasma surrounding the cells must be kept in at the same concentration. That is an uh, that is the isotonic solution. This is whereby the concentration of both the solute and the solvent are, are the same as that which is found inside the cells. If this is not done, the cells will either gain water and burst or lose water and shrink and their function will be impaired. So what we are trying to relatively say here, we are saying that uh, the body concentrations of living organisms must be at the same level. That is isotonic. Uh, the, uh, uh, the solution must be isotonic. This is because if, for example, it is hypertonic, a uh, hypertonic solution, as you can see, we have said that this is a highly concentrated solution. So if it is placed in a hypertonic solution, that hypertonic solution will draw water from it and it will shrink, um, a process known as crenation. Uh, this crenation we are seeing here. And if it is placed in an hypotonic solution, which is a dilute solution or a lowly concentrated solution, it will gain water from the lowly concentrated solution and it is now going to, um, to burst. This, uh, uh, for example, we are seeing this hemolysis. So you can see from our, um, our diagram, as from our screens, this is bursting of a red blood cell because it has been placed in an hypotonic solution. When it is placed in that hypotonic solution or a lowly concentrated solution, it will draw water from the hypotonic solution and eventually it will burst. Um, having done and said that, we are going to have an activity whereby we are going to assume a student that, um, at a Shrim Secondary School observed that when sodium chloride was poured onto the grass, the grass dried up. Explain this observation in relation to osmosis. For further reference on our topic, you can refer to KLB Secondary Biology Students Book 1, uh, Nairobi Kenya Literature Bureau. Um, for more information on this, you can send us an SMS uh, using the number that is appearing on your screen, or you send us, uh, you subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, which is Elimu TV, or you send us a message on Facebook at Elimu TV, or you tweet us at Elimu TV um, Kenya. Thank you for watching, and let us subscribe to uh, this YouTube channel whereby we are going to learn together because there are more lessons there. Thank you.